Hey Kindergarten, today you're going to get back your P. Mondrian artwork that we started last time. And off of the supply table you need to get one sheet of yellow, one sheet of red, and one sheet of blue, just like we did last class. We're going to continue doing what we did last class as well, so that means you're cutting out squares and rectangles out of the primary colors. Remember the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. We're not cutting out circles, we're not cutting out triangles, we're cutting out squares and rectangles. So I'm going to cut out about three or four. Notice I'm using the edge of my paper to cut these out. And after I've got a few of them cut out, I can put a couple dots of glue on them. Remember, a dot, a dot can do a lot. So I just put a dot in each corner. And you can overlap them as well. Remember that means that you're putting one on top of another. You really need to fill this paper up with all different kinds of colors and shapes. Just some blue, don't forget to use your other primary colors, keeping them kind of little. All right, I don't want any big honking huge pieces. After you have your paper full of squares and rectangles using the primary colors, you're going to raise your hand. And if Mr. Calvert gives you the A-OK, -okay, the thumbs up, you are going to pick up that paper and you're going to go to my back counter. And at the back counter, I have a paper towel with this little plastic thing on it. I also have this tray of paint. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold that piece of plastic and using the flat edge, not the edge with all the crazy stuff going on, the flat edge, you're going to dip it in your paper or in the paint and you're going to print some vertical lines. Remember, vertical lines go straight up and down. And you're going to print some horizontal lines like this. All right. We're not going to print any diagonals or any other lines, just verticals and horizontals. You can probably print a few lines without even having to dip it in the paint. Look at that. I just one, two, three, four without even having to get any more paint on it. So I'm going to put some lines on here. It's okay if they overlap. Remember that means that I have some on top of each other. I'm not going to overdo it though. So I really like this and I am finished. So when I'm all done with this, because there's paint on it, I want to put it on top of the paper towel so it doesn't get all over my table. Your artwork, after it has the black lines, is going to go in the drying rack as low as you can go. Remember to hold it like a lunch tray, all right? And we don't put it at the top. Then you need to go back to your seat and put away your red, yellow, and blue papers. When you're all done, you can work in your sketchbook or read a book.